Hello, hi. Second year maths to be second chapter system of circles. Okay. So from this chapter we have one two mass question and one four mass question we can get for the board exam. Total six mass. It's a very small chapter. So and a very very simple chapter. Okay. So first chapter circles. Second chapter system of circles. These two are very easy chapters easily we can score from first chapter 22 marks from this chapter 6 marks 28 marks syllabus can complete with these two topics only okay so before enter into the topic i would like to request please subscribe if you are newly watching if you already subscribe then thank you very much okay system of circles means in this chapter most probably we can read uh, uh, more than two circles about means what about the relation about two circles three circles so and so okay let us see in the chapter what concepts are there but the first concept is angle between two circles means what for example if you take two bangles if you keep like this or this or this way means uh, suppose these two are two circles one i am taking s is equal to zero second circle i am taking s dash is zero okay so if you draw the tangents of each and every sir each two circles some angle can be made by two circles by their tangents so what is that angle how can we find so that concept for two mass question it is very important so to find that angle see if the angle between two circles what are the circles s is x square plus y square plus 2 g 1 x plus 2 f 1 y plus c 1 equal 0 second circle i am taking as s dash okay don't take s 1 s 2 s 1 means there is another notation x x 1 plus y y 1 so and so so that's why if one circle is s second circle denoted by s dash if third circle is there denoted by s double dash so and so so second circle is dash x square plus y square plus 2 g 2 x plus 2 f 2 y plus c 2 is equal to 0 is theta then okay so write down this concept and remember the formula that is cos theta is equal in terms of cos we have the formula so that is c 1 plus c 2 minus 2 of g 1 g 2 plus f 1 f 2 by root of g 1 square plus f1 square minus c1 into root of g2 square plus f2 square minus c2 so this is the very important formula so the same formula we can represent as in another way that is also cos theta equal d square minus r1 square minus r2 square by r1 to r1 into r2 okay oh what is r1 yes radius of first circle what is r2 radius of second circle what about d d d means d means what here d means distance between distance between two centers between two centers c1 and c2 see small c1 means constant term of the first circle small c2 means constant of the second circle and capital c1 means it is the denotation of center first circle center capital c2 means second circle center so these two are very important formula any one of you you can use to find the angle between of the given question okay by using this formula also we can get this formula also we can get that is our wish and uh, another not depend on this concept suppose if two circles are orthogonal two circles are orthogonal means two circles like uh, perpendicular like perpendicular if one is like this second circle is like this okay so then what is the condition that is very most important condition simply we can say two circles orthogonal means uh, perpendicular perpendicular means what is the angle 90 degrees very good if theta is 90 degrees then cos 90 
0 very good so it will come 0 so 0 into something 0 1 into something something so finally we get c1 c2 minus 2 into g1 g2 plus f1 equal to 0 we get so minus terms and right side we get so 2 into g1 g2 plus f1 equal to c1 plus c2 are you clear okay note down first of all not if two circles two circles orthogonal to each other orthogonal to each other if condition 2 into g1 g2 plus f1 f2 is equal c1 plus c2 okay this is the very most important concept if two circles are orthogonal then use this concept if this concept is satisfies then we can say that given two circles are perpendicular okay and uh, another three key points i'm going to say so only these key points are enough to learn very short questions for four mass questions and more two concepts are there that i will tell you in the beginning of the four mass question okay so this is system of circles part one by nagra sir if you want the circles please sir circles part one by nagra sir circles part two by nagra sir circles part three by nagra sir so and so we have four uh, 16 parts are there in the circles if you did not watch please watch immediately easily we can get the score okay sorry coming to the point second note here i am going to give three formulas three concepts same formula what is the equation of uh, equation of common chord common tangent first of all equation of common tangent common tangent is s minus s dash is equal to 0 okay same formula next equation of equation of common chord equation of common chord also is s minus s dash equal to 0 very simple subtract one circle from another circle we get the common chord equation or common tangent equation or radical axis okay so equation of radical axis radical axis of two circles is s minus s dash equal to 0 so these three are very most important key points but most most probably the most important concepts are these two formulas so mostly i am going to use this formula if you are interested you can use this formula also you can get the same answer no problem okay so please note down otherwise take a screenshot we can enter into the very short questions with these problems okay okay first question find the angle between the circles x square plus y square plus 4x plus 14y plus 28 equal 0 and x square plus y square plus 4x minus 5 equal 0 okay sorry here uh, in the formula i did small mistake 2 is there in the formula so please uh, write down 2 also in that formula c1 plus everything is same okay 2 into root of g1 square plus f1 square minus c1 2 into root of g2 square plus f2 square minus c2 so that is formula hmm. okay remember that formula so two circles equations are given so given that first one circle is x square plus y square plus 4x plus 14y plus 28 equal 0 and uh, second circle I am taking as is dash that is given x square plus y square plus 4x minus 5 equal 0. So obviously we should compare with uh, x square plus is the first equation that is why it is uh, 2g1x comparing with next yes 2f1y plus c1 equal 0 and second one is compared with uh, second equation second terms to g2 x plus 2 f2 y plus c2 equal 0 so now tell me what is g1 2 g1 nothing but 4 so 2 g1 means 4 so g1 means 2 
ओके नेक्स्ट टू एफ वन मीन फोर्टीन टू एफ वन मीन फोर्टीन सो एफ वन मीन टू सेवन जा या सेवन नेक्स्ट सी वन कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म इज ट्वेंटी एट ओके सिमिलरली टू जी टू मीन फोर टू जी टू मीन फोर सो जी टू मीन टू या नेक्स्ट हियर वाई को ऑप्शन इज टू एफ टू बट इन द गिवन इक्वेशन देर इज नो वाई टर्म दैट मीन वाट दैट इज जीरो नेक्स्ट सेकेंड कॉन्स्टेंट इज माइनस फाइव कंप्लीटेड नाउ फॉर्मला लेट एंगल बिटवीन एंगल बिटवीन गिवेन टू सर्किल गिवेन टू सर्किल्स इज टीटा एंड एज्यूमिंग सो देर फॉर वॉट इज फॉर्मुला then if angle is theta then we know that the formula is cos theta equal now tell me c1 plus c2 minus 2 into g1 g2 plus f1 f2 by 2 into root of g1 square plus f1 square minus c1 into root of g2 square plus f2 square minus c2 yes very good that is formula now substitute in form in this formula C1 means what? 28. Next plus C2 means what? Minus 5. So plus into minus minus. So minus 5 right on. Next to minus 2 start bracket. G1 into G2 means 2 into 2. How much? 4. Next to plus F1 into F2. 7 into 0. 0 by 2 into root of g1 square means 2 square plus f1 square means 7 square minus c1 means 28 into root of yes root of g2 square means 2 square plus f2 square means 0 square minus c2 means minus 5 so minus minus plus 5 simplify this we can get the answer okay so next turn was i don't write okay if you are getting problem again i am writing here cos theta is equal c1 means what 28 tell me c2 means minus 5 minus 2 into g1 into g2 means 2 into 2 plus f1 into f2 7 into 0 by 2 into root root g1 square means 2 square f1 square means 7 square minus c1 means 28 next to g2 square f2 square minus c2 g2 square means 2 square f2 square means 0 square c2 means minus 5 i think it is very clear z call 28 minus 5 becomes 23 minus 2 into In bracket there is two into two becomes four. Seven into zero means zero. By two into two square means four. Seven square forty nine minus twenty eight. And in the second row two square means four. Zero square means zero. Minus into minus plus five. So which is equal twenty three minus four plus zero four. Four into two eight. By two into see four plus forty nine fifty three. Fifty three minus twenty eight. How much? <clears throat> How much? Twenty-five into root four plus five nine root nine is equal twenty-three minus eight becomes fifteen. Yeah, fifteen by two into root twenty-five means five. Root nine means three. Here three one ja three five ja five one ja five one ja. So one by two is there, which is equal cos theta. When cos value is one by two, cos sixty-one by two. Very good. So instead of one by two, I'm going to write cos sixty. Sixty means pi by three. Am I right? One eighty by three. Okay. Or you can write six zero sixty also. So therefore, theta is pi by three, or sixty degrees. Pi by three radians or sixty degrees. Any way you can express the answer. Is it clear? Can I give one more question in the same type of? Okay, very simple. Just write the equations. Compare with general equations. Write down what is g1, g2, c1. What is f1, f2, c2, and write the formula. So I'm putting this formula in a 
box and substitute in that formula and simplify we get the answer that is it that is the concept. So, same way second question I just give you you do it x square plus y square minus 12 x minus 6 y plus 41 equal to 0 and uh, x square plus y square plus 4 x plus 6 y minus 59 equal to 0. Can you solve this question? Minus 59 is equal to 0. Same process. Answer you want? Uh, you get to 1 by root 2. Answer is uh, 1 by root 2 means 45 degrees. Very good. Okay. Yes. Third question. Show that the angle between the circles x square plus y square equal to a square and x square plus y square equal to ax plus ay is 3 pi by 4. So, this is very most important question for 2 marks. Same find the angle. So, finally, the answer will be 3 by 3 pi by 4. How can we do? First, given that solution, first circle x square plus y square is equal to a square ok. So, we can generalize this question or directly we can write to what is center 0 0. So, obviously g 1 g 2 g 1 f 1 also 0 0. What is uh, radius j? We can write directly or otherwise uh, x square plus y square minus a square equal 0 ok. So, comparing with x square plus y square plus 2 g 1 x plus 2 f 1 y plus c 1 equal 0. Here x term y term are not available therefore, 2 g value 2 f value zeros. So, 2 g 1 0 means g 1 is 0, 2 f 1 is 0 means f 1 is 0 and c 1 constant will be minus a square ok. Next, similarly second circle s dash that is x square plus y square is equal to a x plus a y is given. I am bringing left side. So, those becomes minus a x minus a y is equal to 0. Now, comparing with x square plus y square plus 2 g 2 x plus 2 f 2 y plus c 2 equal 0. Now, tell me what is g 2 g 2 that is minus a very good. So, then automatically g2 becomes what? Minus a by 2. So, 2 center right side goes to denominator. Similarly, 2 f2 is minus a. So, f2 becomes also minus a by 2. And here constant term c2 value is nothing. So, that is why 0. So, now what next? We know that. So, let theta is angle between given two circles. Given two circles. So, therefore, we know that the formula is cos theta equal. So, tell me what is formula? Yes, very good. C1 plus C2 minus 2 into G1 G2 plus F1 F2 by 2 into root of G1 square plus F1 square minus C1 into G2 square plus F2 square minus C2. So, substitute the values in that formula. So, therefore, cos theta is equal for c1, c1 means minus a square plus c2, c2 means 0 minus 2 into g1 into g2 means 0 into minus a by 2 plus f1 into f2, am I right? f1 into f2 means 0 into minus a by 2, this is also by 2 into root root first root g1 square plus f1 square minus c1 means g1 square means 0 square f1 square means also 0 square minus c1 means minus a square that is not minus of a square that is minus a square. Similarly, g2 square means minus a by 2 square plus f2 square means minus a by 2 whole square minus c2 means 0. Okay, I am simplifying this. 
is equal minus a square plus 0 to 0 into something c 0 into something 0 0 into something 0 so totally we are getting 0 so totally minus 2 into 0 by 2 into this is 0 this is 0 minus into minus plus a square only a square is there and here here minus has square so minus square becomes plus and a square by 2 square means 4 a square by 4 plus a square by 4 is equal minus a square see 2 into 0 0 0 0 no need to write just minus a square only written as right so 2 as this root a square means a and here lcm is 4 am i right root by 4 a square plus a square 2a square is equal minus a square by of course a square cancel by 2 into c 2 1 ja 2 otherwise keep it as it easily so this is root 2 and root a square means a root 4 means 2 root 4 means 2 so now 2 2 cancel a a cancel finally we are getting minus 1 by root 2 so this is cos theta equal am i right here okay small basics root 2 means root 2 root a square means only a root 4 means 2 because of root 2 is for 2 and a square and 4 also so minus 1 by root 2 means what negative so cos theta value in first coordinate positive second coordinate negative so answer will be second coordinate 90 plus something so 90 plus 30 120 can we check sorry 90 plus 45 because of 1 by root is there so 90 plus 45 145 sorry 135 135 means what 3 pi by 4 so minus 1 by root 2 means cos 3 pi by 4 in first year trigonometry we have done many problems so therefore theta equal 3 pi by 4 hence proved so this is two most important question and one more question i will try to explain in this part and the next remaining questions we can explain we can get in the next part with the these two parts we can complete very short question so next part we can learn how to find a radical axis how to find common chord how to find common tangent so very simple okay and uh, there also some uh, difficult problems are also there but very simply i will explain so watch next video also okay again i am saying if you are newly watching please subscribe and one, one more thing is please share with uh, your friends okay next uh, fourth question shall we see or not yes show that the circles x square plus y square plus 4x minus 2y minus 11 equal to 0 and uh, x square plus y square minus 4x minus 8y plus 11 equal to 0 intersect orthogonally so solution so given that generally compared with x square plus y square plus 2g1x plus 2f1y plus c1 equal to 0 and uh, second equation can be compared with x square plus y square plus 2 g2x plus 2 f2y plus c2 equal 0 okay so what is 2 g1 that is 4 what is 2 f1 that is minus 2 what is c1 that is minus 11 okay g1 is becomes 2 f1 is uh, minus 1 okay next here comparing with the uh, x coefficients 2 g becomes minus 4 so g2 is minus 2 and uh, 2 f2 is uh, minus 8 then f2 is minus 4 and the c2 will be 11 what is the condition to show that two circles orthogonal yes very good 2 g1 2 of g1 g2 plus f1 f2 is equal c1 plus c2 so here the same condition we should uh, verify that's it so that's why i am taking uh, first uh, lhs i am finding that is we should remember this formula okay 
and I'm going to find g1 into g1 means 2 into g2 means uh, minus 2 plus f1 into means minus 1 into f2 means minus 4. So, which is equal 2 into minus 2 minus 4 minus 1 into minus 4 becomes plus 4. So, here 4 minus 4 0. So, 2 into 0 means 0. So, this left hand term is we got it 0. Next to right hand terms e1 plus e2 RHS. So, c1 what is minus 11 plus c2 what plus 11 it is 0. So, what do we get finally LHS is equal to RHS we have got. So, what is uh, 2 into g1 g2 plus f1 f2 is equal to c1 plus c2. We got it this therefore, given two circles two circles intersect intersect orthogonally that is right and complete. Next similarly fifth question also same type of question show that the circles x square plus y square minus uh, ok is it ok hmm. minus 2lx plus g equal to 0 and x square plus y square plus 2my plus 2my minus g equal to 0 intersect orthogonally same ok same way you do it you get the answer minus 2lx plus g equal to 0 and uh, second circle plus 2my minus g equal to 0 comparing both 2g is here x coefficient 2g1 x coefficient 2l 2g1 is minus 2l so g1 is minus l and 2f1 here y coefficient is nothing 0 so f1 is 0 and constant term is g only ok so here also 2g2 is x coefficient here not given that is 0 taken and f coefficient 2f2 here that is 2m so f2 is 1 only and constant term is minus g so now substitute lhs now can we write lhs and rhs that we should remember condition what 2 into g1 g2 plus c1 plus c2 plus c2 that we have to prove so that's why in that i am finding 2 into g1 g2 plus f1 f2 value and c1 plus c2 value if both are equal we can proceed so which is called otherwise otherwise uh, you can do in this method also ok um, condition directly write condition what is condition 2 into g1 g2 plus f1 f2 is equal c1 plus c2 ok or uh, directly you can write condition and verify in this that g1 minus l into g2 0 plus f1 0 into f2 1 1 or l sorry m so m is equal c1 g plus c2 minus g cancel 0 so here minus l into 0 0 0 into m 0 so 0 plus 0 0 into 2 0 0 equal 0 so condition satisfied yes so therefore therefore given two circles intersect intersect orthogonally write down complete next to one more question in this part sixth question sixth question okay in the next next question after this six questions the next question becomes okay first listen this this is very important find k if find k if x square plus y square plus 2by minus k equal to 0 2by minus k equal to 0 and uh, x square plus y square plus 2ax 2ax plus 8 equal to 0 plus 8 equal to 0 
is a cuts orthogonally cuts orthogonally so we should find the value of k okay and two circles are given how to find this plus 2 by minus k equal 0 plus 2 ax plus 8 equal to 0 okay shall we proceed what is the first step first to write given circles x square plus y square plus 2 by minus k equal 0 compare with general equation we get 2 uh, g 1 is 0 and 2 uh, f 1 is 2 b and uh, constant c 1 is minus k. So, uh, g 1 is uh, 0 f 1 becomes b. Next uh, second equation x square plus y square plus 2 a x plus 8 equal 0. So, x coefficient to 2 g 2 is 2 a and y coefficient to 2 f 2 is not there 0. So, C2 is 8. So, G2 becomes A, F2 becomes 0, C2 is 8. So, condition write down. Condition. Yes, because I have already given cuts orthogonally. So, and write the condition, substitute in that and simplify, we get the K value. That is it. So, 2 into G1, 0 into G2, A plus F1, B into F2. 0 is equal c1 is minus k plus c2 is 8. See 2 into 0 into a 0 plus b into 0 0 is equal minus k plus 8. See 0 plus 0 0 2 into 0 0. So, we get uh, 0 is equal to minus k plus 8. So, minus k send left side. Okay. So, then k equal to 8 got a k value so this is k value so dear friends next to 7 8 9 10 four two mass questions are there and uh, with additional to those four two mass questions and uh, next to remaining four mass questions we can start in the next part two of system of circles okay so we can learn uh, system of circles part two by nagara sir in that video we can learn remaining four two mass questions and we can enter into the four mass questions also so, as I told you, this is very simple topic, okay. So, please note down, uh, very thank you for following our classes and uh, thank you for your encouragement. Most probably you are asking, sir, videos please make firstly, firstly you are asking. I am very happy to listen that, but unfortunately some due to some time issues, I am a government teacher. Even I am a government teacher, we have several works in our colleges, okay. So that is why some delays are there. I will reduce my delays, my delays, <coughs> sorry. And uh, definitely I will make all the classes of maths to be, maths to be almost all completed and uh, some only few videos are there. I have to make either 4 or 5 are there only. So, those 4 or 5 also I will make uh, after completion of maths 2b, but maths 2b also I will not stop definitely I will complete each and every topic be patient and uh, listen classes note down. So, that will be helpful you I think uh, it is very helpful. So, it, so tell me uh, tell your friends also whether it is uh, perfect or not our following method okay in intermediate these questions are enough so simply we can cross 75 out of 75 and finally also i will make how to make 75 how to get good marks how to pass those type of videos also i will make so thank you for watching our classes regularly thank you bye bye so watch next video